Hey, it's Sofan Shukun here, and today I'm gonna showcase my second version of a Brick Breaker game, where in the last video I showcased my first version, where I just had some bricks and a bouncing ball. And all of this is set up with JavaFX and Scene Builder. But for now, I have added my pedal. So I have my ball bouncing around. I can use my pedal to keep the ball going. If I don't hit the pedal, let's see if I can lose. There we go. The game stops and I can start again. So that's pretty much the setup. Let's just go through the concept of the game. So I have my ball bouncing around. I then have a timeline in JavaFX, which allows me to kind of have this game loop. I could find it. There we go. And inside this timeline, which runs every 10 milliseconds, so give me around 100 FPS, I have all my checks going. I move my paddle. Oh, it moves to the position of my mouse. I check if I'm colliding with the pedal to bounce off the pedal. I move my circle, my ball. I check if there's still any bricks on the screen. If there's still any bricks on the screen, check if we have a collision with any of the bricks. If we don't have any bricks on the screen, stop the game. We won. Check if there's a collision with the scene, so with the edge. Top right left side and bounce off. And check if we have collision with the bottom zone, which is like this losing area down here. So this is happening every frame, we could say. So every 10 milliseconds, and that's kind of the game loop. And then I have methods set up for each of these functionalities, which will check and use the setup I have created. So in the last video, I talked about most of these. As mentioned, the ball, Collision detection with the bricks, the edges of the screens. So now I have just added my paddle. So to move my paddle, I simply use the bounds of the, the scenes where the scene on the screen, because this is like an application on the screen. So I need to be able to detect where is the scene, because I could move the scene and I'm still able to play the game all the time. So I'm able to using a JavaFX robot which is a component that allows me to get the mouse position on the screen. And then when having the scene position on the screen, the mouse position on the screen, then using some math, I can calculate where is my mouse regarding to the scene. And in this case, I can have the paddle follow, even though I'm outside the screen, because I'm using the position on the screen, not on the scene specifically. And if I'm outside, it would go to the left, or to the right in this case. And if I'm outside on the left, it goes to the left and so on. So in this case, I can do some checks. And if I'm outside the screen, put the pedal to the, to the left side or to the right side and so on. And then simply check collision with the paddle, which is very similar to all the other collisions I've done. You can check the other video we're talking more about the collision part. And again, there's collision with the bottom zone, checking collision again. So. Just get the concepts that we're simply having a game loop and every loop we're just checking a lot of collisions. In this case, because it's a brick breaker game. And of course, I will leave a link down in the description to the source code and to all the videos I've done because I've actually done videos about most of this. Because to prepare making this game, I started doing some small projects where I could have a bouncing ball, collision detection and stuff like that. But this is my version of a Brick Breaker game using JavaFX and Scene Builder. And if you enjoyed this small showcase and hopefully learned something, please like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.